That's fine. Are you guys cool over here? I don't know. So we're up on the roof of watching the sunset, you know. Jake starts doing some like action hero shit. He, you know, he's always been like a James Bond. In high school, Jake was the baddest motherfucker at GoldenEye. The only person I've ever thrown a punch at <laughs> was Jake because he kicked my ass in Quake 2. We were playing GoldenEye and he would just destroy us in GoldenEye and, like we expected that, but like I was good at Quake 2. And suddenly he got really good at Quake 2 and just start annihilating me in that. So that was like my entire point of pride. So I remember standing up and like sort of looking down at him and just being like in slow motion, almost like in, uh, I think it's a uh, Christmas story. He's swinging at him in slow motion and he like misses his face and like hits him in the shoulder. That's what happened. I hit Jake right here on my knuckle on this part of his head like it was it was a it was a punch that was thrown in a heat of passion that was just way off the fucking mark Woo! The movie at this church? No. and my brother used to tell the story about how him and jake and chip were in art class but jack would describe it as like well you know chip is more like a jedi he's more like obi-wan kenobi or something and Jake is more like a spy, kind of like secret agent. And Jack's example was like if you threw some like a balled up roll of duct tape at them, like Chip would take like an empty tube and like bat it down like it was a lightsaber or something or like deflect it back at you. Whereas like if you threw it at Jake, he'd do some kind of like ducking, like roll over the table spin move and then like nail you with it. You know what I mean? Just like, oh, the end of the action sequence. Down here from this angle. Like here, like going up. Oh yeah. These here. Yeah, I see it's that. Like, they're like, there's some gunfire, some shit. You know, some gunplay. It's gonna be mostly uh, an editing task, but might be working with one of the best guys in the business. Okay, so James Schuyler is one of my favorite poets. A lot of what he writes are considered to be window poems. And this is something I've been very interested in trying to adapt for the show. You know, a lot of what I'm trying to do in the show is I'm trying to get the thoughts to hitch to and ride the present. So the show exists kind of in the present moment and just the interest, the witnessing of it. You know, and... And my thought would be sort of like a companion piece to what's happening, you know? It would be like the live commentary. It's like the Bob Costas. I'm the Bob Costas of my own reality. You know what I mean? Doing play-by-play. -play. I'm the color man <laughs> on what's going on. So what James Schuyler does is morning of the poem, him to life, a few days. Literally, they're, they're his notebooks, but they're sort of, you know, perfected. Eileen Miles called it the cartoon of thought. It's just him sitting in a window, kind of describing what's going on, kind of tuning in to his own thoughts as if it were just some kind of radio station that was on the background. The day can't get brighter, clearer, but it brightens, brightens, so much and so much more under infinite cloudlessness and icy spaces and endless mystery. It's all of them, you know, it's just the most, not really, you know, it doesn't really look this, yeah, <laughs> I'll fix it in post. Part of the problem that I always had with like writing television shows or trying to write movies or whatever was they had to be about conflict, they had to be about drama. You know, they couldn't be purely descriptive. And although I don't want this show to be purely descriptive, I want to be in the here and now, in the present moment, and I want it to be about the beauty of witnessing the tiniest little things. Flowers, the action of the sun on the leaves or the buildings or something. Giving that some kind of, like, supreme attention, you know, magnifying it. And just taking delight in it, you know. Transferring that sort of pleasant delight from myself 
to uh, a third party. Have them be a spectator to the thought. This guy. This guy. This guy. I describe the show as being my portable window. You know, like literally I want to write window poems everywhere, but I want to do it through the window of, you know, the camera. And I want to I want people to be there live. <clears throat> I want people to be there live as the moment is occurring, you know. Uh <laughs> And, um, yeah, that's about it. Hey, guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? God damn, look how fucking, I don't, it's, what, what do you even call that color? Peach? Looks more orange than salmon. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a metallic salmon. It's kind of, it's, mm, sure, it's not quite copper. Yeah, it's sherbet, but it's like, mm, it's like a hot peach. You know, it's like a heated peach. <laughs> but look over there. It's like over there you have a really warm pastel, and over here you have a really muted navy pastel, or even like. Periwinkle or something, like a whole hue. New Jersey contributes such amazing colors to the sunset, you know. Oh. Just because all the, like, pollution and fucking smog and shit. You know, like, the Toxic Avenger, like, completely has the same color palette as, like, that kind of sunset. You know what I mean? Like, that kind of weird, like, pink, orange, copper, gold... It's almost like gold foil or something, you know. And you see the blue coming through, but honestly, if the orange wasn't there, you wouldn't really see it as blue. It would look like yeah. yellow. Uh, it would look like a warm yellow green. Yeah. It does. Like there's parts of it that look kind of like nauseous and like bile, like queasy, you know, it, it just keeps changing too, you know. Looking out is looking in, when you find the, it, like the exact point, like if you're looking out over water, yeah. you find the exact point where the line is, or where you think it is, Yeah. and then the reflection of the sky in the water is a mirror of the same thing. And then both. Yeah, right. Because the water reflects into the sky the color, and that's why the sky is whatever colors, you know, blended with the smoke and heat and pollution. But, yeah, that's what, uh, that's what, oh, how fortuitous. What is that? Uh, it's Kubrick, like that Kubrick Odyssey movie. Yeah. It talks about how, how you're supposed to watch it frontwards and backwards. Uh-huh. And like a ah, like reflecting. Okay. Right, right. So right. in the intro to uh, The Shining, yeah. when the three uh, members of Jack's family are driving up around like the winding mountains into nowhere or whatever, yeah. they have the camera flying right over the water. Mm -hmm. It was a mirror and it was exactly half and half of the same. Yeah. Do that again. Can you do that one more time? Is this New York over here? Or, uh... Yeah. It's New York City, baby. Greatest city in the world. Downtown Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn? Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. Your, uh, yeah. your fuego.